Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. In today's video, I'll be answering the question, what is the A350-800? Obviously, if you don't know the full situation with the aircraft already, you may be inclined to think it's part of the current A350 series, and you are partially correct in thinking that. However, this A350-800, or Dash 800 as I'll refer to it for the remainder of the video, was never properly released. Even more confusing, the aircraft did in fact have some orders placed by airlines. The Dash 800 was designed to seat 280 passengers in a three-class configuration, so you could say it would typically have economy, premium economy, and or business or first class. Of course, airlines may change the name of these classes to fit their own brand. This aircraft was set to be the third member of the A350 series and would work alongside the A350-900 and the A350-1000. With a 9 abreast seating layout, the Dash 8 was planned to have a range of 15,200 kilometers or 8,200 nautical miles. If we're comparing this to the A350-900, there isn't a huge difference. The A350-900 has a range of 15,001 kilometers or 8,100 nautical miles, meaning there's just a 200 kilometer difference between the two. The 800 was also planned to be the shorter in length A350, and therefore was planned to hold around 40 passengers less than the A350-900. This could result in carriers ordering this aircraft depending on what they needed in terms of operations. A lot of the time airlines will pick either range or passengers. If they're going for range, they'd probably opt for this Dash 800, whereas if they were going for passengers and range, it would be the Dash 900. And if they were going for the longer aircraft with the shortest range, they would most likely go with the Dash 1000. The main design for this Dash 800 came of course from the A350-900. The Airbus Chief Operating Officer said that the Dash 800 was purely developed from the Dash 900 and would come about from the shrink of, of course, the Dash 900. Airbus planned to increase the payload by 3 tonnes and of course its range. The aircraft was set to be a solution to the aging Airbus A330s and act as a cheaper alternative for some airlines. There was a backlog of around 182 orders back in mid-2008, and even then, the plans to release the actual aircraft was certainly up in the air. It was six years later at the 2014 Farnborough Air Show that Airbus revealed its Airbus A330neo. This is where the Dash 800 hit the end of the road. Airbus from this point forward confirmed the cancelling of the Dash 800 and went about persuading customers to convert their order to other members of the A350 series or the new A330neo. Of course, in some situations this didn't go according to plan and I'll be diving into that in a minute or so. Whether Airbus made the right move is certainly something I can explore in another video. The choice to cancel the Dash 800 came about for a number of reasons but a key was the growth of the regular A330 200s. During the marketing campaign of the Dash 800, the classic A330 series was still obtaining orders. Airbus saw this demand and believed that launching an upgraded version known as now the A330neo was a far better choice. In terms of persuading carriers to change their order from the Dash 800 to the A330neo, as you may have been aware from my previous videos, at times this did not go according to plan. An example I can give is Hawaiian Airlines. Now the airline originally had an order for the Dash 800s, and when the Dash 800 was cancelled, this was converted to the A330neos. Of course, the airline never actually received this aircraft, and the order in the past couple of months was all up in the air, and no one really knew what was going to happen. Unfortunately for Airbus, just a month ago, Hawaiian Airlines announced they had cancelled the A330neo order and had switched to Boeing. That's a big statement, of course, because Airbus had that order, and somehow Boeing were able to persuade Hawaiian to then order their 787s, which you could say is the rival to the A330neo. At the end of the day, the final order count for the Dash 800 before it was cancelled isn't hugely different to the current order tally for the A330neo. It's worth noting as well, the A330neo has two variants on offer, 
and it certainly brings up the question if cancelling the A350-800 really changed anything. If you enjoyed this sort of video, feel free to drop it a like, and if you're new to the channel and liked what you saw, of course, the subscribe button is always there. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I do hope to see all of you in my next one.